That's number two. First one was a picture. <laughs> oh well. Crappie, all right, finally, all right, they're here. Look at that. Look at the size of that crap. Oh man. All right, now oh, I had a funny feeling they'd be here. All right, we'll just keep trying to catch them. If they're gonna bite it, gets it, they'll bite it, gets it. There we go. I think it was too, too fast. Um, the jig, uh, the Blake Moore I was using was too heavy. That's why I couldn't catch the crappie. I got bucked. They're down in here. Funny, I never caught a crappie on a on a gets it. Gonna have to. Oh, I think I found them again. They just moved a little. That's a nice crap. Oh, oh man. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, maybe we're going to do a fish fry tonight. <laughs> Catching cook. I'm so interested in this fishing, I don't even care to look at the, the sun. I got the glasses. The fishing's so cool. As you can see in the bucket, I had caught quite a few crappie. The camera wasn't on tonight, Here we go. and I didn't know it. But you'll still get yep, to see more. Right caught. out in front of me. They just Sorry moved about, about 10 feet. Probably because the bass pushed them out of there. Fishing during the eclipse. Oh boy, I felt that one whack that. It didn't get a, it didn't get a foot deep before he hit that gets it. Another nice, look at that mouth. Woo he got a big mouth. There we go, buddy. Woo! El Slabos, whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I think he's gonna come. That should come right out. Come on, buddy. There you go. Hey, that's a nice sail. Oh, boy. Yeah, fish fry tonight. I wonder what I'm going to call this video. Crappy in the moonlight. <laughs> oh, there we go, another one. Wow. Man, all you got to do is, oh no, this is a large mouth, I think. Oh no. Spicy. Spicy crap. Spicy, spicy crap. There we go. Mama said kids dinner. <laughs> Guess I did. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's getting there. So who says they don't bite at night? <laughs> I, I don't oh no, they do bite at night. What am I talking about? Guys in Florida catch them at night all night. Oh boy, this is a nice school. Every cast almost. Come on, big guy. Whoa, whoa. I'm not going to look up at the sun, but I'm going to put the camera up there to see what it looks like. Now let's get some more fish. I 
I've actually been waiting for this. It's just the right conditions. I just kind of, oh, there we go. Yep, another one. Oh, largemouth this time. They're fun too. There you go. Oh. Oh, look at this guy. He's a little red. There you go. I could probably be catching the heck out of the largemouth, but I'm a grocery shopping guy. Boy, they like that gets my gosh. All right, I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> Ooh, might, no, this guy got it right in the top of the mouth. Look at the back on this guy. Farm pond back crappies. Can't beat that. Huh? Nice and dark. Boy. thing I really love about farm pond fishing is that it's easier to nail down a pattern. Most people know that, you know, or, or it's easier to locate fish and predict them. When you're out on a big body of water, you know, like a small lake and whatnot, it, it makes it a little tougher, you know, so this gets your hunt, this gets my hunting skills for them ready for when I go out on my boat. just a little behind. Everything happens just a little while after ponds. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I had one, drop one. I wasn't paying attention. I got another one. I don't know if it's a large mouth. Nope, another slap, nice slap. Gosh, these are beautiful fish. My wife and I, when in my earlier days, before I really got crazy with saltwater fishing, we used to take the kids for crappie and, and uh, we used to have a ball catching a bunch of them. I mean, and we'd eat tons of them. If, <laughs> We would even give my wife's aunt in New York crappie fillets. And you know what she'd send us? She'd send us filet mignon steaks. Now that's a great trade, huh? That's how much she loved her fish. Really calm. You're going to hit it as soon as it hits. Pretty much, I think. See, I just let them tap it, and I drop it very slowly and gently, and they inhale it. Man, look at how fat these guys are.
actually worse. That's uh oh. Oh, that's another big crap. He was giving me a hard time. Oh. Dude. You know, Bob, you think you would put the bucket next to you. It's getting there. Oh, that's a lot of fish. See if I can get farther away from that noise. Still catch them. I'm pretty sure I can. Don't get much more pretty a picture. My gosh. There we go. Man. Boy, they don't fall around with that gets it. I just I said I wasn't gonna say that again. <laughs> That's a nice mess of fish right there. Oh, I just gotta watch my line. When it's calm like this, it's easy to see them disrupt your line. Oh, I just felt a hit. There we go. Wow. <laughs> he, he whaled it. Danny, the landowner, he loves to eat calicos. And uh, I'll fillet them all up for him. He really appreciates it. There's actually like four or five packets right in the freezer as, as I'm making this video right now. Oh, there's a, a black. He must be a male. Because he's darker. Got some real dark colors. There we go. <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> They're just a foot deep. Oh, another large mouth. I saw him take off with it. Well, I could catch.
dropped one and picked up another one immediately after. Oh, this is a large mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Water temperature is everything in the spring. <laughs> There we go, right out of his mouth. No problem. Whoa, sorry for the belly flop, pal. Oh, there goes my buddy Danny, way up in the back there for some reason. Oh, that was, I wasn't paying attention. You got it by the tail, I drop it. There we go, oh, see? I just. This feels like a large month. I don't know. Yeah, they tend to come up fast. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like coming up. Oh no, it's a crap surprise. Chunky monkey. Must be a, still a good food base in here because there's nothing lightweight looking about these scrap. Beautiful. I don't know, 12, 12 inches. Oh, by the way, the gets it has a one-eighth ounce weight. I'm using. Oh, here's another one. I'm actually using 15-pound braid with six-pound uh, fluorocarbon for a, a liter with the gets it. You giving up already, buddy? It must be horse. Oh yeah, they're horse tied or something. Oh, you got some funny looking eye. All right. So. Yeah. Take a picture and send it to my wife and tell her, go get some french fries. All right, let's see, just a few more, I think, and then I'm gonna start bass fishing. I'm going to go to a late afternoon chatterbait. There we go. I don't hit them right on the first tap. I might wait until I feel a little light taps. And that, you know, I felt I let that go twice. I let them tap it twice. And then I, I dropped and then checked and he was on. Man.
<laughs> I don't want to clean too much more fish than that. That's a lot of crappie to clean. Good thing I use a turkey carving knife. Funny how once you once you can find them, they kind of hold in an area, and you can just keep hitting them. My wife and I sat in one spot last year, no, a few years back, out on a pond up the street. We caught 65 of them, and they never moved. And all we did was throw a bobber with a couple jigs on it, neutrally buoyant, and just commenced into catching them. That was in the fall. So I used to just use Blake Moors to do multi-species. Now I learned something today that you can find them with these gits. It's also the Blake Moors, they catch a large mouth also in, at the same time where you're looking for crappie. So you're multitasking. What do you mean I didn't get a bite? Got another one. I just had to move a little bit and I noticed they moved to the left and out and the way I knew that they were moved I saw a little bit of uh oh those are largemouth bubbles. Sometimes when they're eating or messing chasing stuff they'll cause little bubbles on the surface or they're just trying to eat small stuff and you could tell by the caracas just the little little interruptions of the surface that there's something down underneath that. Sure enough, there was. Not the right species, well, kind of the right species. Just move a little bit to the, where I saw those bubbles. There's always something to do. Buddy Danny's up and back there. I just saw his quad go up there, not attractive. Goes, oh, there we go. Oh, another fish. Probably a large mouth, pretty aggressive. Yep. Oh boy. Ooh, this is a better fish. Better large mouth. Not huge, but and he wasn't fooling around, boy. He was all in, all in that gets it. Not bad. About 30 fish on the same bait. <laughs> That's what you call being economical. <laughs> All right. Boy, what a gorgeous spring day. It doesn't get much better. Oh, those crappie might have moved again. Especially see as I caught that bigger bass. Well, move a little bit. One more cast here. Make the move. I got a feeling that uh, those crappy might have moved. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good large mark. Boy, he freight train that gets it. Right reeling it under the surface, just like for a crappy. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, you must be a little lethargic, buddy, huh? You ain't jumped once, but you sure got some weight to you. There you go. That's why those crappy move.
there. Let's see which way it went in. There. I'm trying to fish man, I don't bring my pliers. There we go. There we go. That's a nice bass, huh? Good size. Love them black gets it. Black and gold flake. Another large one. Good size too. Not really big, but good size. Huh? Well, that's why you fish farm ponds. You whack that thing. That's another, uh, another large mouth. Man. Losing track. So much for a fish kill. That's a nice fish. There's another one. There's another one. Boy, did he golf it. No big ones, but plenty of them. Here we go. Another large mouth. Man, they're out there. Nice. Well, here we go. I don't think I've ever caught so many fish on one lure, one rubber bait. Not like I don't have another one. This is why I throw it away. Still working. Where'd my crappie go? Probably down the bottom over there. Yeah, they might be a little intimidated by all these large moths swimming around just below the surface. I don't know. Might change the color. Might go back to the Blake more. That was another large mouth. He thumped it really hard. There's another one. Oh, this might be a crappie. Yeah, this one. Oh. Another large mouth. Oh. He got a quick catch and release. He released himself. Boy, oh boy, there's a lot of fish. I'm not even fishing for the big ones. If I wanted real big ones, I'd probably throw a chatterbait, try to get them. Back. Kind of really into getting a, trying to get a couple more crap. There's another bite that might be. That's another large moth, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure it is. 
that of a large mouth. <coughs> and boy, there's they're eating good in this pond. Look at the belly on that little guy. There should be some slobs coming up within the next few days. This weather keeps up. Uh... <laughs> that guy hooked himself. <laughs> Man. Another one. Caught some. This guy feels a little better. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Come on. Ooh. Very fun to catch. I don't know how many bass I caught. <laughs> Quite a few. I don't know. Let's... There's another one. Oh, he just... Oh, he got it. He was going to deep water with it. I got it. There you go. <laughs> boy, oh boy, they're getting ready to eat. Oh, this guy was pretty good. He freight trained a pretty good porker. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they're all in great shape. I'm pretty lucky to be able to fish a place like this. There you go, buddy. I haven't looked at my lens lately. Uh oh, okay. Right up against the bank, that fish hit me. Probably time for a chatterbait now, but I think I'm on a school of crappie out there. They're just kind of like really reluctant to bite. I got a couple tugs. I might have to change up what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, see there, that was just a little, grab the tail and that was it. Sometimes you gotta change, play their tune. They might have, something, something's different. And they're not in, see they actually probably pull the tail, part of that tail off of that. And they're not committing to it, even if I drop it. I'm gonna try one more time, see if I can drop it to them. And, so he might take it, but if you give them the right thing, they don't fool around. I just was feeling this little tick right there. There we go. Maybe I just got that might be a large mouth. Yeah, that's another large mouth. And yeah, crappie don't take off like that. Oh maybe. Yeah, it's a crappie. See that? Sometimes you just... Oh, that's a big fat one, too. Sometimes you just gotta play their game. You know what I mean? It's just... You gotta, I call it spoon feeding, you know? Drop it to them. 
I'll leave that guy over there for now. We might be back in the game again. Okay, we're gonna have a cook and clean tonight. But we have to bleed these fish out because you can't it's not good to fillet them while they're while they're still uh alive. It's not good for them. So I just cut the gill a little bit till I see them bleed. When we're out when we're out fishing, we usually just tear the gill and that's enough. Then you put them in water, they'll die pretty quick and, and, and bleed out. And then you won't have all kinds of uh, blood in the meat as you fillet. There. Well, I just counted them all. There's uh, 23 today. That's not too bad. And I'll bet you I caught close to the same in largemouth bass. Uh, I didn't video them all. It can get kind of... Here we go. Give these guys a little chance to... The jumping ones did not jump up so much. Bleed out a little better. Okay, so we're gonna get to filleting these things. I don't know if anybody's ever. Oh, Janine, can you bring me a, a corning ware to put fillets in? There we go. Flip it over. In a, in a few, uh, yes, thank you. In a, in a few paper towels, baby. done this for a while so bear with me. <laughs> well this isn't working so good because I'm turning so much. Here's where having those clipboards are coming handy. We're gonna flip we're gonna cook fish right? Yeah. Okay all right. Oh man. Probably best if my wife was doing this. Yeah, I was holding her while I was doing this. She'll have to rinse those fish off a little bit. So that's that. That's that. Oh. Boy, it looks like they've been really eating a lot of bugs. So let's see if I can do this without speaking up. There we go. Oh. Just cut the red cage right off. That's pretty much it. And you do the other side just the same way. Yeah, flip that. It gets pretty mundane. I mean, the same thing over and over again. It opened. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, our kitchen is pretty much a big mess today. So. 
please forgive that because uh, we had company and blah blah blah, you know. So um, we're just washing off the fillets. My wife's getting ready. She just threw some uh, wood. Oh, down the bottom, I guess. Oh yeah, she just put the French fries down in there. So we're gonna have nice French fries and fish and a beautiful salad. Some of these crappy fillets had a little bit of stomach content on them, so I just did a quick little clean up and put them here. Ten, I like to fillet. I like to. Uh, if I don't wash the fillet. I don't. I don't pat it down. But if I if I wash it, then I. I if I wash the fillet, then I will actually pat it down. So just getting these ready for her while she'll be cooking. I'll video her a little bit. So yeah, I just pat them dry. Too much water is not a good thing, and I never ever wash my fresh. I never ever wash my uh, salt water fish with fresh water ever. But this here I don't mind too much, and I because I, I'm cooking it right away. I don't even I won't even wash it before I store it. Uh, if, if it's fresh water fish, I'll just. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just put them away the way they are. I'll pat them clean as I can. Then I'll wash them before. Um, I'll wash them um, before I, I uh, before I cook them when I take them out of the freezer bags. Oh, it's been a long. Excuse me. Are you at it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mr. G is at it. Janine has got the fish going on. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful, honey. I won't be so grumpy after I eat this. I'm tired. It's been a long day. So you put it in the egg first, and then you put it no, in the... No, you put it in the flour oh, first. Oh, in the flour first. I already did that. Oh, I might have missed that. So put it in the flour first. You gotta... Those are some nice fillets, huh? I guess you weren't fooling when you said you'd bring it home dinner. Mm. You must have had that six cents. That this is going to... Okay. Is that olive oil, honey? Yes. Yeah. All right. How long are you cooking for? Maybe. Um, I'm gonna check this one because it's been after two minutes. About a couple minutes a minute. aside, you yeah. think? Yeah. Right. It's probably gonna be on the fat ones two minutes aside, and the little one a minute and a half aside or less. All right. Okay, we'll be back to you when they're all first crispied up. So what temperature are you checking for, honey? 145. 145? They're a little lower, but they're thin and fat, so you gotta yeah, be careful. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right. Looks beautiful. I even got a nice flower. Yeah. Get rid of some of that oil, that looks cool. There we go. Beautiful, ready to have a beautiful dinner. We love to use fish in our garden for fertilizer, it helps a lot.